Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Over the Drink Tree, and I'm back with another Clone Wars review. Clone review. Poggers. We're reviewing, I don't know what this is. So I'm reviewing today's episode together again. Do you know what it was? It was the first full quality episode that the UK, Europe had access to on Disney Plus. So that is very epic. And I can finally watch the episodes in the quality they were intended to by the time we get to the Siege of Mandalore, which I believe is going to be visually spectacular, so I'm glad I get to see that in full HD quality. Anywho, let's review this episode. I, I thought it was a pretty good episode, to be fair. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the end of us seeing Trace and Rafa, which I think is pretty good, because the, the characters were not the best. Not the best written. Um, their designs were alright. I thought the designs were that fine. I mean, they're kind of more in line with modern culture, and, like the hairstyles and stuff. So I guess it's alright, you know, added a depth of uniqueness to the characters, which is alright. But they weren't my favourite characters that we've been introduced to, so I'm glad we get to say goodbye to them. But anyway, let's get on with what happened in the episode. So it starts with them back in prison, as you do, because last episode there was a failed prison break. So they're back in prison, and they're trying to work out ways on how they can get out. So it's meditating, meditating on whether she should tell them that she's a Jedi or not, because obviously their parents were killed by a Jedi. So, they harbour ill will towards Jedi, so should she tell them? Comment down below if you think she should tell them. So she has a plan. She says she has a plan, but she doesn't want to tell Trace and Rafa what the plan is. Just t just trust her, which them trusting her got them in this position in the first place, to be honest. But you know, we vibe, we move. She puts emphasis on them trusting her, which is part of her plan. So the Pikes come back to like take them and take them to the uh, the boss man. I can't. I don't know if he has a title. I'm just going to call him boss man for the purposes of this review. They come and take him to the boss man and his cool masked like advisor dude who I think has a cool design. So the Pikes they take them from their prison cell to the uh, to see the man, the boss man, and he, he asks them where the spice is. They're still on this spice shit. That's why they're there in the first place. To be honest with you, so. I don't see why they wouldn't be on that spice ship, but you know. So Ahsoka then kicks her plan into action, she's like, right, basically, don't give a fuck about these two. I'll send them to get the spice, and uh, give me my money. And the, the Pike's like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Give them one rotation, if they don't come back with the spice. I'll tell you where their families live. Trust me, she puts emphasis on trust me, and then Rafa's like, ah, that's her plan. So the Pikes, they agree to this, and um, the advisor dude actually mentions to the boss man that this is, they're deceiving them. And he's like, yeah, I know, but what choice do we have? We need that spice, or we're going to get fucked by our boss, big boss man. So they allow Trace and Rafa to leave the planet, and as they're leaving, Bo-Katan and Ursa Ren, Sabine's mother, are uh, watching them leave and they're like, they didn't scan the Jedi and because Bo-Katan knows Ahsoka and they work together they keep tabs on Ahsoka and where she is in the Citadel making sure that if she leaves, they know and they can talk to her Ahsoka uses the Force to escape the prison cell after she's put back in there we, see, we saw her do it last episode, she does it in this episode and she escapes, sneaks about a bit, doing a bit of a sneaky sneak I don't know, destroy the Pike operations? I don't know what, well her attention is obviously to escape but then it becomes destroy the operations the Pikes are doing here so, I don't know what she was looking for initially. Maybe a way out, when we already know there was a way out. But now she doesn't have a ship, so maybe that was what. As this is happening, um, Trace and Rafa on a space station, fixing up the ship before their mission. They have a bit of back, back and forth, and it turns out Trace didn't know what the plan was. But Rafa caught on, and she's telling Trace that, you know, her plan was to escape and let them escape as well. And Rafa decides to, uh, yeah, we'll get some spice and we'll go back for Ahsoka so that she can have over Ahsoka that she rescued Ahsoka rather than Ahsoka having over her that she rescued herself. Y y you feel me? You feel me? Ahsoka then finds a, um, a small cache of weapons and thermal detonators. A lot of them. <laughs> so there's one on like the bandolier so she takes that and uh, fixates like a timer remote detonation thing to her wrist in order to sabotage the Pikes operations and do some good here. Meanwhile, obviously Trace and Rafa are looking for some spice. So they go to a planet involved in the spice trade. I'm not sure if it was Kessel. I can't quite remember. I don't think they mentioned the name of the planet they were on. Or I just didn't catch it. But they go there anyway to get some to steal some spice from the Pikes to give back to the Pikes. And Rafa manages to shithouse away into collecting the spice by just bluffing the, the guy in charge of all the shipments on this particular planet. Meanwhile, Ahsoka's planting detonators on their um, 
on the equipment used in, sp in the uh, spice trade, maybe like the refiners or like the storage containers or whatever they are, whatever they may be, Ahsoka's putting detonators on them, just fucking everywhere. And as she's doing this, she overhears that the uh, pikes are talking to their the big boss man, the man above the boss man. As they're talking, Ahsoka kind of notices and recognises the voice of the person who's talking, but right now he's got his back towards Ahsoka and to the viewer. It's a cloaked man's. There's only a few people who appear cloaked in Star Wars, so it's if we one of a few people. And it's none other than the Phantom Menace himself. He learns that Maul is the big boss man in charge of all these operations. Obviously he's running the Shadow Collective, a nice group of different crime organisations vying against each other for who can be the most powerful while Maul plays with them all, like the uh, Puppet Master. It actually ties into Solo as well because obviously Solo was very much involved in these different crime syndicates and one of them mentioned is the Crimson Dawn which we do hear about a lot in Solo so there's a nice little t tie back there as well. These Ahsoka Rafa Tracer episodes are really, uh, really tie a lot back into Solo because of the Kessel Run and all the Spice Trade which was also a big part of Solo. However, uh, they were looking for Quaxium, not Spice, but they still went to Kessel, you know. You know the vibes, you know. So more kind of glances and sort of notices Ahsoka, but doesn't like fully recognise it's her, so he goes to kind of overview the Spice operations and maybe he can see her, but she's hiding. They find out Ahsoka's escaped, so they all go running, and Ahsoka sneaks into the like command post, maybe headquarters room, where there's like some big computers and stuff, and she finds the fight log and realises that Maul is on Mandalore, but then the pikes run in and kind of like capture her because they they always knew that she was deceiving them but they didn't know how so she's cornered by them she she fights a few of them revealing that she is indeed a jedi and then obviously because the pikes are losing faith with maul they're like yo we capture this jedi we kill her we'll regain faith with maul and we're back in business boys so trish and rafa while this is all going on trish and rafa are on the spice planet the spice has been loaded onto their ship and then rafa does like a a Karen moment and asks to speak to the manager but then the manager doesn't show up so she's like bullying this like overseer dude. Turns out the boss is a Trandoshan and uh, he's a bit angry at Rafa. So Rafa tries to fight this man. Uh, she actually holds her own quite well against the saints of Trandoshan you know they're fucking ferocious hunters and fighters and she manages to hold her own against one. I mean not very well but she manages to hold her own enough to manage to push it to its death. Well I say push it they were on like a, a moving platform and she kicked the platform off while she was hanging onto the crane that was carrying the platform so he falls to his death while she manages to survive and they've got all the spice and they're off to fucking back to the pikes so as Ahsoka's about to be executed they rock up like yo perfect timing we've got the spice <laughs> let's go yo yeah. think that Trace and Rafa and Ahsoka are all working for the Republic despite none of them being affiliated with the Republic anymore Ahsoka's obviously not a Jedi well, she's a Jedi, but not part of the Jedi Order. And the Pikes kind of reveal this, thinking they all knew that she was a Jedi, when in reality they didn't. And now they're like, yo, Ahsoka, like, why don't you tell us, bro? And she's like, yo, a Jedi killed your parents. Like, how can I tell you that? How can I tell you I'm a Jedi when you think you killed your parents, you know? And then everything blows up. The Mandalorian's like, oh shit, Ahsoka fucking blew some shit up. So they get ready to kind of meet these two. Originally, I thought the Mandalorians were going to break them out of prison. But that didn't happen. Because I guess it would have been reported to Maul that there are Mandalorians meddling in Shadow Collective affairs. So they couldn't really do that to keep their like movement safe or whatever. So they run to the ship and they manage to take off before the three Pike ships are following them. And apparently Tracer's ship has a gun. I don't know why it has a gun but it's Star Wars. I don't know how she got fucking access to a gun in Republic territory. Whatever. It is what it is. She has a gun now. Ahsoka managed to shoot down two of the Pike ships before the cannon is destroyed. So Trace tries a very headstrong tactic of trying to ram into this ship. Obviously the Silver Angel is much bigger than this little Pike ship so whatever happened the Pike ship would have been destroyed but the Pike guy kind of swerves out the way and hits a rock and dies. So they're all free. They're home free and the Mandalorians follow them. Follow them off to Coruscant. Upon landing on Coruscant they're a bit kind of off with Ahsoka because obviously she's a Jedi but um, they kind of come around and uh, Rafa jokes that she's going to arrest her but obviously she's telling her that she's not a Jedi anymore, she left the Jedi Order and they're going to get into why Ahsoka left the Jedi Order bo -Katan and Ursa Ren show up and be like yo, Ahsoka, it's okay, Death Watcher no more, we need your help because to, we have a common enemy and that's Darth Maul obviously oh it's not, I don't think he's a Darth anymore so it's just Maul but you know 
So they have a common enemy of Maul. Ahsoka's kind of conflicted because obviously she wants to defeat Maul, but also she doesn't want to rejoin the Republic. But Trace and Afro are like, yo, come on, like it's your du it's your duty, you know. You got you got to you got to beat this man's. Go with the Mandalorians. We'll be okay. And Ahsoka leaves her speeder bike with the Martez twins, alluding that she'll come back to them and she'll see them again, which I think is pretty wholesome and pretty poggers. But yeah, that was the episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Um, I'm not sure why I'd rank it in the uh, season so far. It was pretty decent, you know. We got to see the Mandalorians and stuff, which I thought, which I think is always cool. They sent up for the Siege of Mandalore, baby, and I could not be happier. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Siege of Mandalore. All right, that shit's gonna be fucking good. It's gonna be on full quality on Disney Plus. That's epic. I can't wait. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. Tell me what you thought of the episode down below, or what you think is gonna happen during the Siege of Mandalore. I'd be, I'd love to hear it. Uh, thank you for the support on my last video. The support has been insane and out of everything, so thank you for that. And yeah, an unusual hat giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, as always. <laughs> I've been over the giant tree, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance, yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand